Hi, I'm Paul with Pseudosonic.com and in this particular lesson, this is the first lesson in the entire series for the Yamaha Montage. You can purchase the complete lesson available for download or on disk from Pseudosonic.com. And in this first lesson, what I like to do is kind of give an overview of some of the new features in the montage, especially as with how it compares to the previous workstations from Yamaha, the XF and the Motif XS. Both of those are very capable workstations, but they were lagging in quite a few areas, so Yamaha has improved that with the montage. So when we first boot it up here, we're going to be taken into the performance mode. You'll see that's lit along with the live sets. And the reason I draw your attention to this is one of the things that the montage does is it eliminates the voice mode. So you just have performance mode up here. And performance and voice mode was a one-to-many relationship where you could have many voices inside a performance or you could play just one individual voice, which is basically just one instrument sound. So now, rather than just having that voice mode, now you just simply have some performances Let's click on these here. You may just have some performances that only use one part. This one uh, particular uses five parts still, but you have some that may use less. So that just simplifies things a bit. Um, let's go back. Uh, another thing is that you still have the live sets here, which is basically like a favorites section. So you can assign any performance to be in a live set and Yamaha programmers have programmed in some of the best performances into some of the preset live sets but you of course can create your own user live sets. Now another thing that's obvious is that you have a touch screen on the montage. The XS and the ES did not have a touch screen. You had to use the cursors to scroll and jump around on the screen and then when you got to the part that was highlighted you had to press enter so not only you, you can still do that on the montage if you want to but that basically adds in or eliminates a lot of steps being able to just click on the particular part that you want to go to and also eliminates some of the sub menus that you may have with the workstation so anytime you're eliminating sub menus you're actually bettering the workflow, making it more simple for people. So the montage has that. You may have noticed if you purchased the montage, you may have noticed the super knob here that's pulsating on the left. And that pulsating kind of emulates the beats per minute. We can change to some that have a slower beats per minute there. But this uh, super knob I guess one of the main things is that it allows you to assign different control parameters to one modulation control, basically the super knob. So any one of these parameters here can be assigned to this knob and you can change how it's assigned. For example, this one here, if I turn it to the right, some of the knobs actually turn to the left. And this allows you to have many different variations within one performance, so it drastically changes the way it sounds. And this is good because you can quickly change or tweak certain parameters of a single performance and basically get a lot more variation in sounds out of that one performance without having to really dig deep and change parameters and also writing those to different performance names and taking up space and making it harder for you to navigate. So it has these uh, parameters assigned to the super knob. Another thing too is you now have scenes. So each one of these control changes with any of the sound parameters, arpeggio or the motion sequencer can all be set up to be in different scenes. So you can have up to eight scenes here. And that, of course, adds lots of variation to each performance as well. So it takes up less space, makes it quicker, allows you to transition to different drum patterns from an arpeggiator or different uh, styles of transitions within a sound. If it's like a sweep or a song or a 
performance that has kind of a duration like a soft pad or something like that so it allows you to change those over time and that brings us to another feature of the montage is the motion sequencer so if you look here it says motion sequencer you can turn it off and on it's different than an arp it's set up uh, a little bit different an arpeggiator you know that's kind of like a broken chord that plays a well, motion sequencer is a little bit like changing how parameters in your sound change over time so not only is it note data that's changing but it's any of these parameters here are changing and that allows you to have some kind of rhythmic changes along with different sounds that occur in sync with the tempo and that offers a lot of variation to performances as well. It's very similar to how the Korg Karma feature works in some of the Korg's workstations where you have different parameters that change accordance with the tempo of either a song or a performance. And then you also have the motion sequence section over here. So you have different controls where you can access and trigger those differently. And then you can also write and record your own. And speaking of writing and recording, you also have the transport controls here. It alludes to the fact that you have a sequencer still. This is a full-blown workstation, so you can record step recording or linear recording. You don't have to click to go to a song mode. You just, as you're playing a sound, you press on the record button. And it lights and automatically brings up the recording screens there. We'll get into that in later lessons in this video set we can exit out of this if you want to at any time so you have all those recording features in there as well and another thing that's really cool too i think is that you have this audition feature this is kind of new as well it's not on the other yamaha workstations it is a feature that's on some of the korg workstations i've seen it even as far back as the korg le where you can browse to different performances and click on those and then each one has its own programmed song that kind of plays for this particular performance so if we click on it we can hear those uh, we could go to some that have like a drum sound in there so it allows you to quickly hear I guess all the different sounds that are in there and also what potentially could be recorded with it. And then also during those audition playbacks, some of these have tweaks that occur in real time to the knob. So you can see the variation of that as well. In some cases you may be more of a programmer than like a traditional two handed keyboard player. So it's good to kind of hear what some of these performances potential is. And also with the montage, some of the new features is that you, on the back panel, you have, the ability to transfer a lot more tracks uh, via USB audio in and out. So it really opens up a lot of capabilities with working with software on a computer. And then not only does the montage trump in these features, last but not least, the montage has roughly, I think, seven times, seven to ten times the uh, waveform data that the Yamaha Motif XF had so in all of the basically the waveform type sounds for instance piano realistic instrument sounds where you're using electron keyboard to emulate these sounds it basically allows you to have different waves for each set range of keys and some keyboards has this you may have like three or four different waveforms across a total octave range for a piano for example the montage has quite a bit more samples in there so all the way from the lowest keys to the absolute highest keys the piano sounds extremely realistic and this goes for all of the instruments if you look at all the analog guitar sounds all of the bass sounds all the organ sounds they all just sound way more realistic so that in itself is another reason to take the montage quite seriously if you're looking upgrade or if you've already purchased it and you're just wanting to justify some of the capabilities 
of the keyboard. So this kind of gives you just an overview of the new Yamaha Montage. And in the next lessons in the set, we'll go more in depth with some of the controls and features.